Hello, my name is Everhart. It is currently the 29th of January, 1637. Tulip prices are on the quick rise and I'm looking to get rid of some of my stock. And my name is Hans. I'm Dutch. I wear sweet hats. And I'm ready to mingle. Although it seems, as though we are outside, pretend we are in a tavern called the Leaky Dyke. We are with a college, or a group of other people who are interested, in buying or selling tulip bulbs. I'm the person interested, in selling my tulip bulbs, which I do not have on me, but will have in mid-June. Well well. I am from Holland. Isn't that the uh, Yes. I have seen many people buying tulip bulbs at awfully exorbitant prices and I want to get in on the trading. I am going to purchase a pretty pretty flower so that I can woo one of the hottest babes on this side of the Atlantic. As you may know, this arrangement we are getting ourselves into is known as a futures market. This crazy bloke, and I will agree on a price, to exchange for a tulip bulb in the beginning of June. It is currently January 1637, and tulips are being bought, and sold at over 5000 guilders. Also, if he wants to buy a bulb from me, he must pay something, that is called wine money, which is in addition to the purchase price. This fee costs one half stuva, which is one over twenty of a guilder, and is used as a purchase fee. While it would make sense if I were carrying a bunch of money with me, I am not. Sneaky, eh? I am only carrying the maximum wine money, which is three guilders. Boy. Also, Everhart is not even carrying a tulip. Instead, in June, I will pay him whatever price we may agree upon today. I really like your facial hair, Hans. Everhart, you of all people should know we are in this tavern for business. Quit trying to distract me, and let's get to work. What kind of tulips do you have for sale? Well, kind Hans, I currently have the usual Semper Augustus and Viceroy varieties, which sell as individual bulbs, or pieces, are just above their recent price of 5000 guilders. However, the more common varieties have picked up in price by nearly 20-fold. My more common tulips such as the Gouda or Admiral Leafkins are sold by weight, and often in lots, and are going for just over 10 guilders per AAs. In case you were wondering, 1000 AAs is equivalent to 1 Imperial Pound. Great wooden clogs of Eddie Van Halen. Ever heart, just the other day I could have nabbed an entire lot of Admiral Leafkins for just 2 guilders per us. What is the market coming to these days? I might as well buy a whole bunch if the prices are going up this fast. Plus, chances are I will die before June anyways as the plague is running rampant around these parts. If I happen to stay alive, I am going to be as wealthy as Vincent Van Gogh, Dick Van Dyke, and DJ Theisto combined. I'd be swimming in guilders. And I won't even need to keep the flowers. The babes will want me for my money. So. Find Sir Hans, which of my tulip bulbs will you agree to buy come the 14th of June 1637? I have 7000 AAs of Admiral Leafkins and 12000 AAs of Gouda. In addition, I have 15 bulbs of the Viceroy and 8 bulbs of Semper Augustus, 6 of which are already broken. Lately, it has been the more common bulbs, that have been raising in price, but the market for the rare bulbs has always been more consistent. As the top trader in Harlem, you can trust me to exchange the bulbs for your money in June. I will be needing one broken Semper Augustus and 1000 hours of Admiral Leafkins. This will ensure that the babes will flock to me. With this beard, these fine silver locks, and a whole stock of sexy tulips, the ladies won't be able to resist her little hands. Well well, Hans, rolling with the big boys now, eh? It will cost you 10,000 guilders for the 100 AAs of Leafkins and 5,000 guilders for the broken Semper Augustus. This is in addition to the maximum 3 guilders of wine money I must charge you right now as a contracting fee. This means that on June 14th, you will owe me 15,000 guilders. If you don't have the money then, either the government will make you pay me, as it seems we have a contract, or we will duel, and I will steal your babes and beard. That was awkward. 
15,003 guilders on June 14th. Consider it done. By that time, my beard will be twice as long and I will have the prettiest lass Holland has ever seen along my side. Now time to dance the night away, as this mead went straight to my head. Hans, you are the freakiest deakiest Dutchman I've ever done business with. I wish you luck in your ventures to find a woman, although you may not need it with that hat you are wearing, and the tulip bulbs you will have in 5 months. So long fine Hans. Thank you Sir Everhart. These wooden clogs won't stop dancing for the next 5 months. Everyone is going to love me once I have those flowers. I'll see you back at this bar, the Leaky Dyke, on June 14th. By that time, you should be able to grow a beard halfway as nice as mine. Until then, so long of a heart.